What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So, as you can see, I am preparing to go camping at the Overland Expo in Flagstaff, Arizona. Obviously my shelter is a hiker trailer. Uh, this is provided to me by RuggedTeardrops.com here in Henderson, uh, just outside of Las Vegas. If you want to rent a teardrop trailer and you're in the area, in the Las Vegas area, check them out, RuggedTeardrops.com. But uh, yeah, this is definitely the way to go camping for sure. If you want to stay warm and cozy and protected from the rain, the wind, the snow, whatever. Sleeping inside one of these is just phenomenal. It's got a nice big queen size bed in there, as you can see. It's like a four inch mattress with pillows and blankets. And uh, with one or two people in there, it stays nice and warm once everything's all buttoned up. But these things are awesome. Sleeps two people just fine with all your gear. And then um, they also provided a Smitty built rooftop tent, which kind of accordions over and provides another um, place for two people to sleep on top. Um, my kids are going to sleep up there. So this little tiny compact trailer can sleep a family of four. And in my case, a family of five, since I have a little one year old baby, we're going to have her sleep inside here with us. But uh, yeah, that's a pretty cool setup for camping for sure. If you don't want to spend a lot of time setting up a nylon tent on the ground. I've been camping where it rained. I've been camping where it snowed and uh, setting up a tent in the rain is no fun. But setting this up, uh, is it only takes seconds to set this up. So this is definitely uh, the way to go if you're a little bit older and you, you don't want to do the whole nylon tent thing. So as you can see, this trailer is really, really compact. The hiker trailer is bare bones simple, no bathroom, no sink, no refrigerator, no stove, no oven. It's just a place to sleep and to carry your gear and whatever you want to carry, it's all up to you what you want. And that's what I like about it. It's plain Jane simple. And it's uh, inexpensive too. I think these things start at five grand and they go a little bit up from there. This one has uh, full size tires on it. It's got the flat fender so you can step on here and reach the top. Obviously this one has the rooftop tent like I mentioned earlier. And then here's your tongue box. It's lockable, aluminum tongue box. That's where you keep your, your jacks and your chocks and stuff like that. This model has the beefed up frame. And uh, yeah, full size spare right here. Here's a quick look at the sleeping accommodations inside the hiker trailer. You got two pillows, an old beat up quilt. <laughs> it's gotta be the world's ugliest quilt. And uh, I got a, Easy up awning. I like to set that up at the camp as well so we have some shade and some cover right outside the door of the camper. So there's some cubby holes here for all your gear. There's some pockets for your cell phone. But uh, this trailer has a battery pack so there's a USB port and some uh, cigarette lighter ports here so you can plug stuff in. There's a fan right there. I have another fan over there. So we have actually two fans in here. It's got little LED lights so you can see in the dark. It's got a rooftop vent there's no fan in the vent it's just a, a vent to let air in or let air out so yeah that thing is pretty simple i mean it's just enough to keep you nice and comfortable when you're out in the forest out of the wind out of the rain out of the cold nice little shelter you do have windows that open up with screens you got these blackout screens so you can uh, stay asleep when the sun comes up if you don't want to wake up with the with the sun but yeah, pretty cool. Doors are pretty simple. This one doesn't have a window, doesn't have a screen. You can get doors with uh, windows and screens if you want them. What is some of the gear I'm bringing? Let's start with power. This is a Schumacher uh, 1200 peak amp, 100 PSI compressor. It has four USB ports. It's got um, a 120 outlet. It's got a 12 volt uh, cigarette lighter right there. And then um, it has a LED light on the side if you need to work on your car. It has jumper cables on the back if you need to jump start your four, six, or eight cylinder vehicle. It's got a compressor right there to air up your tires. I keep this in my car all the time just so I can jump start my car. Yeah, or other people's car for that matter. This is a portable toilet. And what you do is uh, you fill this right here up with water. And then once you go do your business, you pump this right here and it flushes down the toilet and then you open that up and it all goes down. Solids and liquids all go in the same spot. Lock it up. You unlatch this top part and you just carry this bottom part that has all the, uh, the stuff in it and you dump it out in uh, a regular toilet. 
so makes life really simple I know it may not be the, the most comfortable thing but this is definitely better than sitting on one of those paint buckets that you see with the plastic bags I don't like that at all we've done it I don't like it and then for privacy I got this privacy tent this is a tent that we can shower in and go potty in I'll be showing you guys that when we get to the campsite courtesy of opticsplanet.com then I got this big blue water jug this is just your general purpose water supply I also have more um, jugs of water as well but this is going to be our main camp camp water source here if we don't have uh, water at the campsite which uh, we probably won't we'll be pretty much boondocking it it's nice to have a tarp to lay on the ground in some places uh, you don't want to step all over the dirt you can lay this tarp right on the ground right by the door of your your trailer and now you can walk around and put your shoes on this and you're good to go this is the nice thing about having one of these trailers by the way you can put everything in tubs and just put them in here because this is essentially like a cargo trailer really but in here is all my clothes instead of having a luggage I use this this tote and you're probably wondering why I'm bringing rubber boots to a camp event in May which is right before the summer I can tell you why because there was a year about three years ago I went to the same exact camping event Overland Expo and it snowed and rained and it was muddy everywhere so I learned my lesson I'm gonna bring rubber boots every time I go camping because you never know what the weather's gonna be like got my keen boots here for just regular hiking if you don't know keen boots check them out google that keen k-e-e-n they are awesome super lightweight but crazy crazy durable look at those toes here's a rain jacket waterproof Gore-Tex rain jacket like I said the weather could go bad at any second and then here's a new pack I'm testing this is a three-day bug out bag it's an elite three-day pack by true spec and this thing is freaking awesome I've been using it already on a couple hikes around the house we have some mountains over there but uh yeah it's got awesome straps are nice and thick and padded you got a CCW pouch in the back here hydration pouch for your uh, water or if you want wires for uh, your earbuds tons of space in here molly webbing for gear hook and loop field for morale patches mesh pockets for water bottles you even got molly on the bottom if you want to attach stuff fantastic three-day pack for sure we'll be wearing that at the show my cooler is not any high-speed low drag cooler you know you'd think i'd have a yeti or an orca or whatever one of those you know high speed low drag ones that are out there nope this is just a coleman 50 quart uh, cooler with wheels this thing is plain jane simple got it at walmart for 29 bucks and uh it's rated for um five days it says but I am, i'm only going to use it for three days at the show so it should be more than enough to get the job done and uh, i won't ever buy a cooler now that doesn't have wheels to be honest with you If you don't know what the Overland Expo is, it is the largest gathering of off-road vehicles and camping gear in one location. Uh, they have two of them, one in the West Coast and one on the East Coast. The one on the West Coast is in Flagstaff and uh, I'm in Vegas, so it's not too far from me. It's only about four or five hours for me. But um, it's a fantastic show to go to if you're into um, overlanding. And if you don't know what overlanding is, in my opinion, overlanding is essentially camping with a vehicle as your base camp you can do it with a motorcycle and a nylon tent you can do it with a pickup truck you can do it with a jeep or a suv or a van or a half million dollar uh, six wheel drive you know army surplus vehicle so whatever it is you use as long as you go camping in it out in the back country a lot of times off grid then that's overlanding all right, so we have arrived at Overland Expo in Flagstaff, Arizona. And just like last year, they have all the camping about a quarter mile away from the event. All right, guys, so let me show you how easy it is to set up the rooftop tent and the hiker trailer. Camping is pretty quick when you camp with these things. So the first thing you got to do is undo the strap so you can take off the vinyl cover off of the rooftop tent.
Then you grab the ladder and then start unfolding the tent and just like that your rooftop tent is pretty much set up in just a matter of minutes. Once you have all the corners and side flaps folded down you can actually go to sleep if you want to. All right and just like that camp is set all I gotta do is empty out the uh, trailer. Of course you can put the uh, stabilizer things for the awnings but other than that it's ready to go. Next up are the awning struts. On this particular rooftop tent the rainfly acts as an awning as well so it helps keep the rain off the top and also keeps it cool when the sun's beating down on it. It was nice that each window had its own awning. And just like that the awnings are set up. Pretty cool. Alright so once you have your trailer all set up you put these stabilizer jacks and then you uh, make everything level. Plus it keeps the uh, trailer from bouncing around because if you're, you're moving around inside here, the suspension will bounce around. Well, you just put these on here like that and it locks everything out as well. Pretty cool. Alright, so let me set up the uh, tech sport privacy shelter. This is going to allow us to use a little porta potty I have over there as well as change clothes and take showers in privacy. Yeah, go for it. Right, go for it. Messy, You're talking about the trailer or the tent? The trailer. I oh, yeah. I one of these tents, but I decided I didn't want a tent anymore. I want a trailer. <laughs> so. Yeah, this one's actually uh, by Hyper Trailer. Yeah, go check it out. Look cool. inside. Thank you so much. Yeah. yeah. And you haven't had any problems with this? I've got with this little tiny car, okay. no problems at all. Yeah. Um, of course, I'm sure your mileage may vary because mine has a V6. Yeah, I've got a V6. Okay. So I had a 4Runner, so I got the Oh, your 4Runner would be yeah, totally. Uh, I need to upgrade. I need to upgrade for sure. This is not even four wheel drive. Um, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. All right, so the large poles obviously go in all four corners. They lock in, and the thin poles actually go along the bottom like this, and they spread it out. All you got to do now is just either put your rain fly on top if you don't want to get wet, or you can just leave the screen open like this. It's always nice to stake it down as well because this thing is very tall and narrow and guarantee the wind is going to blow it over. So stake it down. So there you have it. As you can see, there's our toilet. You got to go potty. All right, so one of the uh, things that I've discovered over the years is I really like these camp chefs. So what it is is just a single burner stove and it supports the pots and pans really well tiny and compact yet very powerful as you can see it has a nice big flame they use these butane the canisters that you can get anywhere walmart big five anywhere and they're only like two bucks i think they're two or three bucks and i got a whole bunch of these and then of course if you want to grill up some hamburgers or hot dogs you got to have a hibachi kind of thing so you just use these 16 ounce uh, canisters with uh, this grill here and cook up some burgers and hot dogs. All right, so the family's all settled in. I have the entire camp all set up. Rooftop tent is deployed. Privacy tent and the canopy is deployed. Stove is deployed. Everything is all set up. So let's take the uh, Velano Urbana folding bike for a little ride around the campsite. Going for a ride with my boys at Overland Expo. You guys having fun? Yeah. Yeah. All right, the boys are doing the obstacle course at the campsite. Logan don't even have any shoes on. I'm a... <laughs> Whoa. Well, oh, you got to use your skills, Dylan. There you go. Go low. So here's one of the good things about using a trailer versus something mounted to the top of your vehicle. Uh, you can set up a base camp and detach your vehicle and go into town and get supplies if you forgot something or if you need something. And that's exactly what happened to us. My little baby needs some diapers because we didn't bring enough. She's going a little bit more than we thought. And my son forgot his shoes. <laughs> so he can't be camping for two days with slippers. So we took the car and went into downtown Flagstaff to go get some supplies. All right, we are at the Walmart in Flagstaff. You know, Say what you want and think what you want about Walmart, but 
they come in handy in a pinch when you need something they got pretty much everything you need right here at the walmart <laughs> okay so my wife is using the privacy tent right now <laughs> it's coming in handy though she's using it all right so i have the olight x7r marauder that pumps out 12,000 lumens out here in the forest boom look at that lights up the forest all the way down there oh my god this thing is definitely a pretty good floodlight i got the through night catapult v6 mini thrower watch this yeah this thing is definitely my new favorite thrower for sure turbo look at that this thing goes way out there that's pretty awesome all right so it's morning time and uh, it was pretty cold last night but uh we survived uh, i had to um, put on a jacket this is my tactical fleece that i bought on amazon for um what was it like 38 bucks <laughs> came in handy I slept in this thing and I slept in the expedition pants from uh, optics planet and true spec these uh, these sleeping bags um, they say they're rated down to 20 degrees but they still felt kind of cold so bring extra blankets or better sleeping bags Last year, this was the very edge of how many people camped. Everybody, it stopped right about here, and this was just empty. This year, this whole area in the back's all filled up. Luckily, though, this side's still wide open. We have no neighbors. That's kind of nice. People out walking their dogs, riding their bikes, going for jogs. I'm warming up some hot water for some hot cocoa. The family's in there just goofing around. This is awesome. Okay. Hi. Look at everybody's in here. It's really cold. Hi, little baby. I'm going to the sun. Yeah. Sun on the sun. Oh. Hi, Sun. Hi. 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 I need to change my diaper. Hey. Hey. Mm -hmm. All right, hot cocoa in the morning. Yeah. Cooking up some turkey bacon. Got to have bacon when you go camping. And then I got some eggs over here too. All right, so here's my breakfast, spam and eggs. That's the best recliner ever, huh? So this is how we do our water supply. This is our general purpose water. And it just goes into a bucket so it doesn't make a big mess. Brush your teeth here, wash our hands here. It's right next to the uh, shelter. All right, so here is our pressurized water that will be used at the camp. This is just a nozzle that you buy at any home and garden area. And then some plastic hose with some uh, adapters, as you can see right there, brass fitting adapters. And then a brand new um, chemical sprayer. Never had chemicals in it. I just bought it brand new at Home Depot. And then you just put water in it. Pump it up, and when you need to wash your hands or take a shower, you just... Alright guys, so there you have it. That is a look at my camping setup while I was at the Overland Expo in Flagstaff, Arizona. Again, big shout out and big thank you to Milan and his wife, the owners of RuggedTeardrops.com who sponsored the hiker trailer that I was sleeping in. Uh, me and my family very much appreciated that because it was cold and it was nice having a nice shelter. And uh, if you guys liked something in the video, let me know what you thought was cool. And if you have any suggestions on what I could do better, leave a comment below in the bottom and let me know. All right, guys, uh, thanks a lot for watching, and uh, we'll see you next year. Take care.